So, what did you just say? Daddy long legs here is gonna fall. No. Oh, Ryan, what a big scary mountain. <laughs> I have your coffee. You do have my coffee. Thanks. Yeah. Happy winter day, YouTube. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I want to talk today about memberships and passes. And I think there's a lot of pressure in the homeschooling world about you have to have a library pass. Uh -huh. And you have to have, you have to go to all these places and all these um, aquariums and marinas and science centers and zoos and all the rest. I think that tree, oh, it in here. that tree right there, that one there, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's older than you. Problem. Okay, we're going to get to this. We will talk about passes and memberships today. Yes. We're going to get there one clip at a time. So hang in with us. Uh, this is our video for today. Passes and memberships. And do you have to do them when you homeschool? You have to go to science centers, so. though. I mean, you don't have to, but you have to. <laughs> you bring your children to one science center or children's museum, and then you have to take them to all the other ones because they're, like, addicted. So I'm recording this in clips because my hand is getting really cold. So when this gets to be edited, this is going to be a good one. Lots and lots of little clips. Yay! Thank Stop you. spilling! You're okay. Spilling. Ryan's spilling everywhere! So why am I vlogging this outdoors, you ask? One, because it's finally not minus a bajillion and we're outside because we can. Yep. And two, because we're at the zoo. And where better place to talk about memberships and passes than at the zoo? What are you two up to? And He's there's... dumping your coffee all <laughs> over the ground. Ryan, why would you do that? <laughs> Look it, he's spilling it Apparently everywhere. I'm spilling everywhere. Ryan. <laughs> Not a single drop has touched the ground yet. I mean, oh. unless you drip some on the ground, I don't know. No, but Ryan, that's like, I don't want an Spiller. iced coffee. I know, it's an iced drop of coffee. Are you a spilly walker? <laughs> oh, spilly no. walker. Andrea is a spilly walker. I am not. <laughs> That's because you keep drinking it. No, I haven't drunk any because it's so hot. <laughs> but it's the so cold. dissolving. <laughs> yeah, whole cup's dissolving. <laughs> okay, Ryan said I have to film this because I just took a drink of my coffee and as I was pulling it away from my lip, it sloshed and burnt the outside of my lip. It really hurts, guys. Like, it really hurts. So what did you say? Mom's is Billy Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. My lip hurts. Emma, you found some helicopters. Yeah. Awesome. Can you see them falling? Okay, confession time. One of the reasons that I really want to make this video, oops, I'm your glove, is that I don't have a library pass. And we don't go to the library. I have in the past. And for me, the pressure of getting books back before their due dates and all that hassle of keeping track of them and do they get damaged and all those things, it's just so much pressure. And for me, that was stealing the joy out of getting books. I'm talking about how I don't do a library pass or like I just don't do library memberships. So we stopped. And that for me is has brought much joy to our family. I don't have to worry about books getting damaged. I don't have to worry about getting them back on time. But what we do this is the silliest <laughs> vlog ever. Save the squirrels! Where did Ryan go? There he is. Today's message about minimalist homeschooling is brought to you by Komodo Dragons. Today's message about minimalism is brought to you by Panda Bears. The story today about minimalist homeschooling is brought to you today by teenagers. <laughs> okay, in case any of you ever think that when your kids are minimalist, it means they don't want anything and they're somehow like magic fairy children that are like, no, I'm so happy having nothing. <laughs> what did you just ask me? Can I have a panda stuff from the gift shop? David, come on, the baby baby. Can I have a Squirtle stuffy? It's a baby bear. Yeah. Can I have a coffee? Can, Can I, I have a $1,000 Lego set? My children are very, very, very... Opinionated. I was going to say normal. <laughs> very normal. Okay, so why do I do Science Center passes? 
And zoo passes. One, and it gets us out of the house. Uh, two, this is my happy place. So for me, this is part of just maintaining uh, just a really good mental clarity. So for example, after last week, we were trapped in the house all week and it was busy before that. And you can tell from the video, everybody's just completely relaxed and they're having a good time. And it's a, uh, I also like it too. I've got, you know, my kids can run around a little bit more and being in the city, sometimes I have to keep them a little closer in. And here they can run and they can have some freedom. Uh, and I love it, I love the zoo. And we spend hours and hours at the Science Centre and that's just a really fun place to be. Now the other reason I really like the Science Centre Passes is we travel. And when you travel in North America and you've got your Science Centre Pass, it's fantastic because it gives you access to Science Centres and Children's Museums all over Canada and the States. And that is priceless, especially when you're traveling. You know, we can hit a city and find a children's museum, even if we're just traveling through and go and just decompress for a couple of hours. And we love it. We love, love science centers and children's museums. That's why I do those. Now, does that mean you have to do those? Absolutely not. So this is all about freedom and permission. Get a custom panda koozie. Koozie. Koozies are scary. What? It's a koozie. Where's the koozie? This is a koozie. Can That's I see scary. the koozie? Hey, look, it's Bublé. It is Bublé's. Hey, Bublé. we love Bublé's. Isn't this a koozie? Yeah, for your beer. It's a koozie. But Bud Light didn't pay to be in this video. But it's a koozie. Yeah, a koozie. Okay, so the last part of this video is I want to talk to you about guilt. Now that I told you at the beginning that we don't do library passes in the homeschooling world for whatever reason this is like the biggest faux pas like you must do a library membership if you want to be a good homeschooler and I just simply don't buy that but I still kind of get plagued with this guilt and when I hear other people talking or I see people post online uh, about how this is just a must and how critical it is to be successful at homeschooling and, and it's taken me a lot of years now again this is my 12th year homeschooling my kids sorry 13th 13th year homeschooling my kids and and I still deal with things that I feel like I should be doing and it takes a lot of kind of intentional willpower to sometimes choose other than that so today on this video if you are struggling with the things that you feel you should or shouldn't be doing and it's based on what other people say online or on YouTube or friends or magazines or anything here's my suggestion um, really just cut them out and so if the magazines are getting to you, stop reading them. If the Facebook groups are getting to you, the people on there are well-intentioned and they're saying things that work for them. But if it makes you feel guilty, then take a break from it. Just, just step back. Step back so you can focus on what you are wanting and what your family needs and not so much what other people are saying. And give yourself freedom and permission to do, to, to do what's best for you guys. So find awesome YouTubers that help you to feel confident and successful and listen to what they have to say and let them, let them cheer you on. We may do homeschooling really, really differently, but we're still all in this together. And even if you're not a homeschooler and you're sending your kids to school, but you're trying to bring minimalism into your kid's education, then do the same thing there too. If it doesn't work for you, get rid of it and, and find sources that spur you on. Okay. Hey, Andrea. Yes. What kind of plant is yeah. this? <laughs> The one that's a dwarf Panama hat no. plant. The dwarf Panama hat plant. Thank you. The Panama hat plant. It's the big Panama hat plant. Oh. Did you get dripped on? It's raining. I got dripped on too, actually. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. There's like a poodle right here. Oh, I can't do this. It's backwards and I'm not that coordinated. See my, my foot? Seriously, I can't like turn the phone in there. There you go. Like pointed more down. There yeah, we go. There. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Okay. That was really challenging, actually. Wrapping up today's vlog. Primarily because everyone's gone kind of crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is what's happened to us after being in the cold and it's warmed up and we've all gone crazy. Yeah, it's like we, it's like, um, it's like you get cabin fever. So you go out and then everyone gets outside lack of cabin fever, whatever the opposite of cabin fever is. So we go home again.
<laughs> and I lock them inside for days. Until we get cabin fever again, so that next time we come out, we're not crazy. <laughs> Okay, so the sum up of this video to wrap it up. Um, actually, before I do that, hang on. What would we like everybody to do? Uh, comment and subscribe and yes. like our videos. Yes, ask homeschooling questions. We, we're happy to yeah. answer them. We've got some questions coming up that we're going to answer in another video. That's exciting. Um, and But yeah, ask for support. Tell us what you're struggling with. What can we help you to, to kind of combat? And how can we help battle those voices of all those naysayers around you to help you have the confidence to do what you want to do? Yep. And on no, that note, no. bye. Bye. Ciao. Sayonara. Yep. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista. No, not hasta la vista because they're coming back. Hasta luego. Yep. Okay. Thank you.